Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fragrant Bunker. Tis that time of the month. <laughs> Not that time of the month. We're doing my top five perfumes for the month of September. Yay, you guys. Super excited about this one because the changing of the seasons isn't happening anymore, really. You know, they say like, oh, there's no more autumn. There's no more spring. It's just summer all year round with a little hint of winter at a certain point. But, well... I want to fantasize about autumn. I mean, it's still summer as we're filming, but September is the month where summer turns to autumn. Now, first subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You know, push the notification bell to get notified every time I post new perfume uh, videos. And you can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball Spell Together, for extra perks. Thank you to my patrons who have pledged. Um, I will be posting on Patreon and on my tier two members uh youtube main super Jacob channel behind the top five perfumes for the month of september uh, i will be filming that next week so stay tuned for that uh extra psychological aspect of these fragrances but for now here we get we get to scratch the surface and what do we have in the surface or on the surface or lurking right underneath the surface of my top five perfumes for the month of september well let me first cue in my co-chatters because this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday on my main channel. Uh, you're all welcome to join me. That's where I film all these videos and then come to my perfume channel as well. So let me cue in my co-chatters. Okay, you guys, now it's always fun to guess which perfumes are going to be listed here, but also for you guys watching later, let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite perfumes are for the month of September. I wonder if my birthday gift will make the list, says T-Pal. Hmm... Well, now, it's a fascinating month, September. It's still really hot. It doesn't feel like autumn. Sometimes at night, it gets chilly, and you feel like, ooh, autumn is here. But then you wake up the next morning, and you're all sweaty, and it's all hot again, and you're like, oh, no, it's still summer. It's still summer, baby. But I have these autumn cravings. And I got to say, for the craving, um, the best best moment for craving autumn Actually, Chanel delivered uh, because it just released a new perfume on the 1st of September. Sycamore Extrait. Sycamore Parfum. I've done the unboxing of this one. A review is coming shortly as well. It's a 15 milliliter splash bottle, the Extrait of Sycamore. This thing is beyond amazing. Uh, and it's very autumny, you know, but it's also slightly warm. It just has hints of warmth in there. But it's divine. Um, I'm enjoying it so much, like so much. And I actually got from Chanel the little ceramic stick as well, which so I don't dab this one with my finger anymore because I don't want my skin to touch it. I don't want it to get all like it's actually, you know what? It's still getting dust particles in there anyway, because how can you avoid it? But what I do is I um I have this little ceramic stick that Chanel gave me. It's drenched in Sycamore. <laughs> and I just kind of dip that in there and then I apply and that's and then, then you clean it up again. But so anyway, it's not really helping that much because I'm still seeing particles floating in there. I mean, that's what you that's what that's what happens with, with these perfumes. I just would not recommend doing uh the the Q tips that a lot of people say that they do because Q tips absorb so much perfume. You're going to waste a lot of perfume by doing that. So, you know, whatever. Then just whatever. I can deal with my skin particles in the perfume, even though it sounds gross. But that's what you get with a splash bottle after you use it for some time. Anyway, Sycamore is definitely in my top five list. I'm obsessed. Like, I, I just love smelling it. I wish they made a spray version of this thing just because I want to apply more of it. I think just a few drops is not enough. This one doesn't have that lasting power, unfortunately, and I just want it to project a little bit more, and that only happens if I over-apply. But then over-applying is really... You need you need time. It's a whole ritual with the extras, with the splash extras, how to apply them, and it just takes a lot of time. Anyway, number two is uh, also uh, has also been launched... Uh, not in September, but this size has been launched in September. My number two is Au Noir, the brand new version of it in the yellow color. It's no more green. And a little bit less of, of the lavender and licorice. It's still there, but it's 
less in your face. Um, it goes quicker, deeper into the wood woodsy aspect of it. It's lighter than it used to be. So it's definitely more user friendly. I guess Francis really wants this one to sell. <laughs> he doesn't want it to be segregated into one of those like rare perfumes that not everybody always wants to wear. So he tried to, I think, tweak it to make it more user friendly, slightly lighter in that respect. But I love it. I love it in the more concentrated version, in the green version, in the Cologne version, in the Eau de Parfum version. Like, I think I would love this perfume no matter what they did with it. And I feel like Francis really wanted to do justice by this one. So, you know, it's his baby. So obviously he's not going to butcher his own creation. Beautiful. Love it. So uh, really enjoying this in autumn. Uh, well, summer, autumn, uh, and really enjoying it in September, discovering all its facets and nuances. It's just a joy to wear and to discover how different, it's slightly different it smells on a day-to-day -day basis, depending on if the day is warmer or colder, um, if it's raining or if it's sunny, the mood you're in as well. So this is a really moody perfume as well and kind of really fits the time of the year where it's kind of still summer not summer anymore it's not fall yet but it's already fall so that type of mood swing of a, of a moment is definitely au noir and it fits this new version of au noir really really fits september very very well so this is also in my top five for september uh testing it and using it out a lot full-blown review of this one is also coming soon i've already filmed the unboxing and posted the unboxing and first impressions you can check out that video in the meantime number three so these might have been the two kind of like logical choices because i just unboxed them earlier on they're brand new for me and i'm just so excited to test them out so obviously i'm obsessed with them obviously these two were going to be in my top five but Aisha says, Onwar will always make me think of you, Jacob. Oh, Aisha, thank you. I hope that's a good thing. Hi, Val. How's it going? Yes, even when I told uh, her that there was, and it's been released in other countries, she was still adamant that there is no such thing. Are we talking about Sycamore? <laughs> or are we talking about Onwar in Australia? I, But you know, everything comes a little bit late to Australia. All of these perfumes release quite a bit after september really is great for perfume testing tiny dirt potato i agree with you uh letty in terms of quality with line is worth its price tag in your opinion Jacob dior or les exclusive from chanel uh with the current price tags chanel i think chanel now the next one is one of the loves of my life. And it's so beautiful this month because this September, as I said, it's more hot than usual. Climate change, anybody? Um, but uh, I love to wear this one in the heat more than in the cold. So this one in reality is the one I wear on the hotter September days. And it's Boudoir by Vivian Westwood. I've reviewed the Eau de Parfum, so you can check out the review on my channel. But uh, this is the Coty version of Vivian Westwood's Boudoir, 50 mil. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. So much joy that actually I'm going to spray it right now, just to have it a little bit, to enjoy it. And, you know, it has changed color. <laughs> the vanilla, you know, it starts off as a pinky, light pinky color, but then it, as the vanilla kind of ripens, it turns into this cognac, burgundy, brandy color. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it? Ah! So, beautiful bubblegum opening and then the dirty, sexy marigold in the dry down. This thing is gorgeous for daytime. And I, and I want to say, also gorgeous for nighttime. The dirty marigold in here, I have a hair in my face. It's so annoying and I have to find it. Because it keeps poking me in the eye. Okay. It is so delicious. Strange thing about it. It almost has, I mean, it has tobacco in there, but it almost has like a chocolate accord. It's so luscious in, um, in September. It's just really, really beautiful. It really, really hits the spot for me. 
uh, this month. Vivian Westwood's boudoir. Unfortunately, it has been discontinued. So, you know, if you do find it, uh, the price is going to be hefty. Oh, dirt, dirty marigold. Very, very Gloria. Yes, with, with the crop and all. Very, very dirty, dirty marigold. <laughs> it's just really, really mesmerizingly beautiful. So that's my number three. Now, number four, I got to say, boudoir really lasts a whole day on my skin. It's, it's, it's a projection beast and it's a longevity beast. But there's another one that seemingly, it starts off it's, as something beautiful, white, floral, light. And, and you think, oh, it's just going to be a delicate little white floral and it's going to be fleeting and gone in an hour. And instead, you're going to be surprised because this one lasts at least 10 hours on my skin. And that is the OG formula of Pure Poison by Dior. Now, the OG formula, as you can see, comes in the bottle with the white lid with the white stopper and then it has the purple uh, sprayer and then it has this gorgeous pearl treated glass. It looks like it's pearl through and through and then spray painted in the white on the sides. I mean, it's the most gorgeous poison bottle ever. I mean, of course we love the OG poison bottle the most, right? But like, come on, <gasps> this thing. Okay. Now it only works in the OG. I don't like the current formula. This is the 2004 and I have, this is a batch from 2004. So this is one of the first batches made. Batches made. Gardenia. Oh my gosh. It's a, it's a beautiful, I haven't reviewed it yet. I'm still taking my good time with this one. It's just, mm, it, it's a gardenia. It, it's, it's a pleasure of a gardenia. It's just so beautiful. Dominique Ropion is one of the perfumers behind this one. He knows his white florals. He knows how to, I mean, look, Dominique Ropion also did Carnal Flower. But why Pure Poison is so good in September, it's because, again, you see this, we have a pattern forming here with all these perfumes and why I'm choosing them. But this one plays a very interesting balance game between hot and cold. So you... It, it's a warm white floral, but it can also be cold. And it kind of bounces off back and forth all the time it's so beautiful it keeps you guessing but it's very enveloping and cocoony i think a couple of you also have it such a gorgeous bottle says cyber coco love the bottle that bottle is so pretty i know it's amazing it's such a unicorn like literally and the white stopper it used to be you know white but now they changed it to like a purpley stopper but just look how gorgeous this thing is look at all the colors of the rainbow just like changing as you twist the bottle now it's not focusing really but it's so soft and delicate it's really they really managed to mimic a pearl with this bottle a white floral pearl um to die for seriously oh beautiful uh obsessed i wear this to bed i wear this in the morning it's just i have to be aware when i spray this one it's going to last the whole day on my skin so i have to be very aware like and ready for it you know you got to be in the mood for pure poison but september i've been using it a lot in september now i don't know if any i don't think anybody guessed thus far what number she's giving lgbt the rainbow right says Jesus. Um, number five, I don't think anybody guessed in the chats what number five is. And my fifth one is, truth be told, the most um, autumn or fall fragrance. It is technically something that I'm probably also going to use a lot in October. But I don't know, it just really fits my September mood, my September vibe. I've been wearing it these past few days on a regular basis. Um, very much in love with it. And that would be the best autumn fragrance by Chanel. So we're ending it with a Chanel and that would be a les exclusive Chanel. And that would be 31 Rue Cambon. The Eau de Toilette. I have the EDT here. 
And as the eau de toilette, which is now discontinued, but you can still buy the eau de parfum, as it ripens, it turns into this almost red color. It's a Shepra, you guys. It's such a modern floral Shepra. I cannot describe in words really how beautiful this is um, and how befitting to fall it is. This is autumn and it's love, pure love. Oh, you know what? I know I just did boudoir here, but I, I got to. You know what? Let me do it in the back as well. Oh. Masterpiece. So underrated. Jacques Paul, I think Sheldrake also had his paws in this one. My God. Listen, you want haute couture in a fragrance? 31 Rue Cambon. I'm surprised they didn't do the pure perfume. Olivier Polge. Honey, I love my Sycamore Parfum and Coromandel. I also have Coromandel here, right? I mean, you know, I have all of them. Well, beige I don't. <laughs> but what I want to say is this as a pure perfume? Are you joking? Because already it's... Oh, no. oh my gosh. the It's otherworldly beautiful otherworldly beautiful now imagine this as an extrait it would go then you would definitely be able to do the two drops and that's enough with sycamore two drops are not enough the sycamore extrait you need a ton if this were to be made into an extrait and it should be because this is 31 rue cambon this is the one that represents the haute couture this is the perfume that's supposed to smell of sophisticated complex handmade haute couture now of course it deserves an extrait of course they just don't do the extrait because this is not a bestseller but this thing is gorgeous are you kidding me beautiful just beautiful really and you know i've been thinking i might even get the eau de parfum just before like the next price increase <laughs> just to have a bottle of the eau de parfum as well Ah, uh, divine, really, really divine. I mean, you could check out my review of this one. I reviewed it many years ago. But you know what? Maybe the time has come for an updated review of 31 Rue Cambon because now we are older, we are more mature, we're, we, we've are we ripened, the wisdom is more there, not. But we're more ready to kind of re-deliver an opinion on this one. You know, so it would be interesting if I revisited the Eau de Toilette and then maybe also get the Eau de Parfum and then do a little comparison. I mean, there's a lot that can be done with 31 Rue Cambon in terms of reviewing it, talking about it, smelling it, sniffing it also side by side with the Eau de Parfum. Um, it is definitely, exactly, Trina, more sophisticated taste. I'm telling you guys, you cannot do anything wrong uh, by, by getting 31 Rue Cambon uh, because even in its current Eau de Parfum version. This is, I repeat, the Eau de Toilette that I have here. And I have several bottles. I stocked up on this one when I heard that they're going to get discontinued. Um, such a joy to wear. It, it just, it's effervescently deep. Just kind of contrast, right? But that's what Haute Couture also does. It goes up and down, you know, between surface and, and depth. And masterful translation of haute couture into a perfume hands down hands down so i've been enjoying this so much in september so these these have been my top five it's a very fascinating selection i want to say because it's a very organic flow and to understand the organic flow from one to the other well you're going to have to check out uh, as uh, tier two patrons and members the video uh behind my top five Perfumes for the month of September coming next week to my channel for my members and patrons exclusively. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your top five in the comment section down below. And never give up on love and subscribe.